Hey guys, my name is Celia, and welcome to uh, part 24 of uh, my playthrough of No One Lives Forever. Uh, we just uh, started the uh, scene 3 <coughs> of uh, uh, something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's in the title, though. Oh, I can't. Wow. Dear Baron Dumas, your request is most unusual, but I will have no problem fabricating the drapery. I estimate 47 animals will be necessary. Lloyd the Taylor. Oh god, he's. using animals to make. stuff. Hmm. Like I said in the last part, uh, I can't remember this part of the game at all. So, um... This is uh, very exciting to play. It's like I've never played it before, which I have, so it's it's weird. Right, sorry for just running around in circles and fooling around, but I just like to search everything to make sure that I haven't missed out on any intelligence items. Oh, I can go on the hedges as well. I don't believe there's anything here, no. Why does she go off the ledge there? Oh, that didn't work out well. Um, no. Okay. Yes? Uh, what should we choose? Hello, my name is Mia Haig. I have an appointment with Baron Dumas. Good afternoon, my name is Mia Haig. I'm from Men of Influence magazine. Let's do that. Good afternoon. My name is Mia Haig. I'm from Men of Influence magazine. Men of Influence? What on earth are you doing here? This is the residence of Baron Archibald Dumas, is it not? I think we yes. should have chosen the other option. Baron Dumas I... certainly seems to qualify as a man of influence. I didn't get any intelligence item. I suppose it would depend on how you choose to define influence. He is the president of Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Ah. He's wealthy. True. He's well respected. Hmm. He's dashing. <coughs> He's debonair. L listen, this is all very educational, but what exactly do you want? Uh, I was hoping to profile Baron de Mons for a perfect live series. Each month we cover a different person whose lifestyle and disposition exemplify a perfect living. <coughs> I'd like to interview the Baron about the future of Dumas' industrial enterprises. Our readers love stories about savvy businessmen conquering corporate challenges in a modern age. Which one should we take? Um... This one? I was hoping to profile Baron Dumas for our perfect live series. Each month we cover a different person whose lifestyle and disposition exemplify perfect living. And you wish to include his lordship in this? series? Yes. The idea is to penetrate the myth and get to know the man. His pastimes, his ambitions, his accomplishments, the things that make him tick. I see. He's a model aristocrat. Ah. Someone our readers can look up to. Of course. Will you excuse me for a moment, Miss Haig? I don't think I could forgive myself if I were to let this sublime opportunity pass by. I will discuss your request with his lordship and return presently with his answer. Thank you. Please, wait here. I shan't be a moment. I think I cho chose the wrong options because I didn't get a single intelligence item. Which we usually get in uh, dialogues like this. Very well. His lordship has agreed to see you. Excellent. This should be amusing. What do you mean? Nothing. Follow me, please. Miss Haig, sir. Splendid. Show her in. I'll leave you to your interview, darling. I'll be shopping for the rest of the afternoon. Yes, yes. Have a marvelous time, Chipmunk. 
Don't call me that. As you wish, my love. Pip pip. He's rather larger than I expected. Ah, yes. He's a big bundle of charisma and intelligence. If you're lucky, perhaps he'll regale you with his rousing safari adventures. Good day, Baron de Maur. Goodness, had I known you would be so sumptuous, I might have preened. Care for a drink? No, thank you. It's a little early for me. Well, I'll indulge for us both in that case. I hope you'll pardon me for saying so, but you're a ravishing girl. Simply ravishing. That's very kind of you. I'm sure your wife feels absolutely spoiled by your abundant charm. Oh, she's a lucky old crow, I'll grant you that. Now then, Giles tells me you want to profile me for this magazine of yours. Yeah, men of influence, was it? Yes, each issue we cover a different person in our Perfect Lives series, someone whose lifestyle and achievements serve as inspiration for our readers. Jolly good. You've come to the right place. That will be all, Giles. Actually, sir, I thought it might be worthwhile for me to stay, in case the young lady should desire anything at all. Splendid idea. Pip pip. Yes, sir. I'll be right over here if you require anything, Miss Haig. Thank you. Baron de Maur, do you mind if I record our interview? I'd rather devote my attention to you than to my notepad. And who could blame you? Record away, my dear. Uh, so then, where shall we begin? Hmm, question one. Uh, what's it like being such a prestigious big game hunter? Clearly, it takes a savvy, intelligent individual to succeed in business the way you have. What's your secret? Um... This? Clearly, it takes a savvy, intelligent individual to succeed in business where you have. What's your secret? Well, I, uh, suppose it takes a solid appreciation of, uh, the fundamentals of business success. <laughs> Once you have that, the rest is easy. Question two. Many men with such immense wealth succumb to slaughter and moderation. How do you keep yourself productive and effectual in the face of such constant temptation? What's the most heroic thing you ever did on safari? You know what, let's take this one. What's the most heroic thing you ever did on safari? Ah, yeah, splendid question. Well, I once um, wrestled a lion to the ground and strangled it to death with my bare hands. Yes, I remember now. My porter had injured his leg and was about to be mauled. Dear Lord! Dear Lord, how courageous! Yes, indeed. Oh, one doesn't really stop to think about these things. One merely acts. It's amazing you didn't come to harm. Yes, well, the Dumas lineage is renowned for resourcefulness and fortitude. Question three. I'm sure a man of your education is as broadly read as he is charming. What works of literature have you found most influential? I'm sure our loyal readers would love to know what hunting rifle such a magnificent sportsman favors on safari. Let's do this one. I'm sure our loyal readers would love to know what hunting rifle such a magnificent sportsman favors on safari. Ah, yes, indeed. Well, it depends to some degree on the beast I'm tracking. For a tiger, I tend to favor the legendary Matterhorn Model 4 Special Issue. Isn't that a 22 caliber target rifle? Uh, Seems a bit feeble for a tiger. Yes, but I savor a challenge. How intrepid. You must be quite a marksman to take down a tiger with a single round from a twenty-two. Well, sometimes it takes a few more than that. Still, even three rounds is impressive. It's usually more like seventeen or eighteen. Really? You might find a larger caliber to be more humane. Yes, but then you have to deal with all that nasty recoil. I see. Question four. Um, what's the most dangerous animal you've ever faced? I noticed you have quite a collection of fine art about the place. Who are some of your favorite painters? Oh, I don't really remember what my... Objective is, what am I supposed to interview him about? 
Favorite painters? I don't know. I noticed you have quite a collection of fine art Just chose the place. One. Who are some of your favorite painters? Oh, I like them all. But surely there must be one or two whose work stands out for you. Certainly. I, uh, well, Fipstein is probably my favorite. I'm not familiar with his work. Not many people are. It's quite smashing. I'm sure you love it. What movement? Excuse me? Is he an impressionist, surrealist, constructivist, pointillist? Yeah, a little of everything, actually. He's quite versatile. Really? Do you have any of his work about? Normally, yes, but it's out being cleaned. Cleaned? Yes, those old paintings get so dusty. Ah. Question five. If you were stranded on a desert island, what piece of music would you most want to have with you? Is there anything that can strike fear into the heart of such a stalwart hunter as yourself? Is there anything that can strike fear into the heart of such a stalwart hunter as yourself? Frankly, no. Really? Nothing at all? Not that I can think of. Not even centipedes? Oh, dreadful things. Uh, yes, I suppose, perhaps centipedes. Personally, I'm terrified of rats. Oh, God, yes. Those beady, evil little eyes and sharp little vermin teeth. Horrible animals, especially in a mob. And spiders. Oh, don't even mention them. How did you become so courageous? Oh, just something one's born with, I suppose. Question six. How many questions are there? Ten or something? Uh, I understand that yours is a steadfastly episcopal lineage. How does your unserving faith influence your day-to-day -day life? Um, I imagine you've traveled to many exotic locals across the globe in your many daring, daring adventures. Is there a place you favor above all others for hunting? Uh... I understand I that idea. yours is a steadfastly Episcopal lineage. How does your unswerving faith influence your day-to-day -day life? This should be good. Well, you see, faith is... Hmm, how shall I put it? Faith is... No, well, simply put, faith... I'm sure plenty of other great men have had keen things to say about faith. Why don't you be a dear and just quote one of them? Smashing idea. Maybe I chose the wrong option there. Question 7. Was that a Gisell trophy in the foyer? How is your approach to running Dumas Industrial Enterprises differed from your late father's? Was that a Gazelle man. trophy in the foyer? Ah, yes. Beautiful creature, isn't it? I'm sure it was lovely when it was alive. Aren't they quite fast? Indeed. You must be quite a marksman. True, although I was rather close in this particular instance. How close? Five yards, I should think. I'm impressed. Stalking a gazelle within five yards? I didn't really stalk it, per se. How did you get that close? Well, it was in a pen, you see. Pardon? Some years ago, it occurred to me that all that traipsing about in the wilderness is a dreadful waste of time. I concluded that since what I really want is a handsome trophy to hang on my wall, why not simply put the beast in a pen out of the yard and shoot it there? Save myself the bother of tracking it all over creation. Why not just buy trophies, then? Some men might be satisfied with that sort of compromise, but I only display animals I've collected myself. There's no honor in buying a trophy now, is there? How efficient... Question 8. What historical figure do you most admire? Is there a message you'd like to share with your many admirers? That's Is there I a guess? message you'd like to share with your many admirers? Good hunting, my humble devotees. Well, that's all the questions I prepared. I must confess, I'm positive this will be our most popular Perfect Lives installment yet. Oh, you think so? Absolutely.
Rarely does nature combine so many excellent qualities in one man. Our readers will be fascinated and maybe even a bit envious. One can hardly blame them. What I don't understand is where such a busy man finds the time to be a successful business tycoon, loving husband, daring hunter, astute philosopher, cultivated humorist, etc. Aren't you overwhelmed? Well, one learns to delegate. For example, although you wouldn't guess it, I'm only peripherally involved with Dumas Enterprises these days. Strictly in an advisory capacity, you see, to keep the company on track. How ingenious. Oh, well, I have my moments. But isn't it an awful risk to hand over operations to someone less accomplished in the subtleties of enterprise than yourself? Actually, it's safer that way. Really? Yes, you see, in my experience, the less one knows about running a business, the less he can screw up. I make all the important decisions. The rest is just, you know, paperwork. Still, you wouldn't want your competitors getting their hands on that paperwork. Oh, quite true. But we have a very large safe in which to store it. Safes can be cracked. No, not this one. Even if someone could get inside, he'd still have to get past the security system. Sounds daunting. Oh, it is. There are invisible beams. Infrared? Exactly. If you touch one of them, the doors lock and poison gas is released into the safe. How terrible. Oh, I'd like to meet the burglar who could get in there. It would take a lunatic even to attempt it. Or a fool. Thank you for your time, Baron de Maul. It's been an eye-opening experience. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, never turn your back on a worthy cause, I always say. A worthy meal is more like it. Okay. I didn't complete the avoid detection. But I did avoid detection. 15 of 19 intelligence items, alright. Okay. Well done, Agent Archer. You may redeem yourself yet. In the meantime, don't get cocky. There's still work to be done. Command will fill you in on the details. Report there immediately. Alright, new mission. Further investigation required. Advanced field tactics. Okay. Some training. Is it possible he was putting on an act? I don't think so, sir. I'm fairly confident the man is an imbecile. I heard the tape and I got to agree. Still, it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow linked to harm. Well, didn't the Baron say that he wasn't really running the show anyway? Who's the vice president of the company? According to our research, his name is Damascus Valentine. D.V. What? His initials, Damascus Valentine, Dmitri Volkov. Coincidence? Seems rather tenuous. But nonetheless intriguing. In any case, we need to know what's in the safe the Baron mentioned to you. It won't be easy, naturally, but it could be the key to this investigation. I'm looking forward to the challenge, sir. That's the spirit. Mr. Smith, what did Intelligence find out about the building? It's a veritable fortress. Not only is there a suspiciously large and well-trained security staff, but they've also invested heavily in high-tech surveillance equipment, cameras, infrared alarm systems, the works. They must really have something to hide. Our thoughts exactly. So what's the plan? Who is going inside? You are. What? Why her? It's way too dangerous for a woman. Oh, don't start with that again. Before joining Unity, Agent Archer was something of an expert in, um, covert infiltration, one might say. Breaking and entering, others might say. Whatever the case, this assignment calls for stealth and subtlety. Yeah, yeah, I know. Subtlety isn't my specialty. I still think it's too dangerous for her to go in alone. Which is why you'll be providing a distraction for her downstairs. I like the sound of that. How do I get inside? 
Attempting entry on the ground floor would be suicide, even for an expert like Ms. Archer. The only way in is through the roof access. What did you have in mind? Am I going to have to parachute in? Too imprecise. Fortunately, there's an alternative. Dumas Enterprises is erecting a second skyscraper right next to its corporate headquarters. Our surveillance photos suggest that if you can get to the top of the new building, you can use a crane to cross over to the roof of the old one. The surveillance photos suggest that this is possible? It will be close. You'll have a zip cord to cut the difference. I see. Once you're inside the building, you'll need to locate the president's office and find the safe. Photograph anything remotely suspicious. We don't want to tip our hand, so leave everything as you found it. The less they know about our mission, the better. Now then, time is of the essence. Yes, sir. Okay. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Here we have the Sphinx Series M Code Breaker. Simply attach it to a standard 10-key security pad, and it will run through a series of combinations until it breaks the code. The duration of this process is determined by the complexity of the code, so it may be advisable to hide until the procedure is complete. Try out your code breaker on this keypad. Okay. added an infrared scanner to your sunglasses to help you circumvent the security systems you're likely to encounter. If you see suspicious looking fixtures like these mounted on a wall, oh no. be sure to switch on your scanner lest you announce your presence unintentionally. I hate this. Now remember, uh, when you're uh, gonna enter the safe, there's a lot of these around the entire room and I gotta jump and crouch and do everything and Oh. It's really tricky. Excellent. I'm bored. I never have any fun. Neither do I. Who are these? <laughs> okay. While it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow involved with harm, it's not entirely certain who the mastermind is. You must infiltrate the company's corporate headquarters building, locate the safe in the president's office, and photograph any relevant documents you find. Agent Goodman will provide a distraction that should draw attention away from you, but you should still expect resistance. Alright, I'm gonna end this part here, um, but thank you so much for watching. If you liked my videos, please leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe. It means a lot. See you guys next episode. Bye!